Welcome to YouTube video presentation of this 1999 Allegro bus, approximately 34, 35 feet. It's a short diesel pusher motorhome with a super slide out. In this video, we're going to talk about this motorhome from front to the back, side to the side, inside and outside. It's uh, got diesel generator in the front, 7,500 watts, Onan quiet diesel generator. Windshields are free from any chips or long cracks, good condition. Uh, this is a 99 model motorhome. It's been on the road. It's got uh, quite a few miles. Uh, as a matter of fact, about 120,000 miles, but Cummings Turbo Diesel, they're made for to go a lot more than that. So we've got a uh, good bit of miles. This motorhome is not shy of any road. It's got diesel generator, Allison, six-speed Allison transmission. You'll see that inside. Take a look at these Alco aluminum wheels. Beautiful. Tires got a very, very tiny dry rod at crack. They're not original tires. They're Michelin tires, but, you know, a couple of tires could be installed in the front. It's got a hardwood floor inside. When we go inside, it's got a... I'd like to mention from out here, because it's probably hard to see in the video, it's got a HWH leveling jacks. It's a computerized, if you could see in this video, but please take a look at all my pictures. It's a computerized leveling jack. That means you hit it one time, hit it second time, and it, no guesswork. It does it itself. It levels the coach itself. That system alone worth about $5,000. Got driver's side door. That's a un unique. You don't have a lot of diesel pusher with the doors like this. Very deep slide out. As you can see, got a brand new slide out topper. We installed that. That's a new slide out topper. It shades away water and pine needles and leaves and all that stuff. Got cloth awning on both of this uh, living room windows. As you can see, some of the decals are start fading out because it's just age, but some of them are in really good shape. Uh, no d lamb straight body, so it's, uh, it's got lots of good stuff along with some of the age-related, uh, uh, you know, uh, flaws. Uh, this, it could be buffed out if you spend a little money on a buff or do it yourself. You can glaze this coach uh, once again. Alco aluminum wheels. Um, lots of underbelly storage. Take a look at here, that's your wet bay. It's your 50 amp power cord rather than 30 amp in a similar year model. If you would look at some 99 Fleetwood Bounders or Discoveries, they come with 30 amp. This is a 50 amp, it's a Legro bus. Again, bedroom, both side has a cloth awning. Come around the side. It's got ladder to go up top. Roof is in good shape, no water leaks. Take a look at it from side, straight body, no d lamb. Another window awning, cloth awning, same colored patio awning, in good shape. No tattered little holes or pinholes I can see here. I uh, believe it's got, let's see, lots of underbelly storage, and some of the storage up, up on top, it goes through it all the way. So. Come around front. I have a door grab handle already ordered, so it'll have a new grab handle. Power step works as you can see. I'll take my shoes off, even though it's got a brand new hardwood floor, you'd you'd love the inside. Let's step in this motorhome. By the way, it's got new carpet in a bedroom and a hardwood floor throughout the coach. So it's got brand new floors. Let me turn lights on here. got a upgraded CD player with an auxiliary hookup for your iPods or Android phones. you got a <laughs> air horns, really nice. How about that? Uh, we've got six-speed Allison. Let's, speaking of the engine and transmission. Uh, I'll have two new batteries installed in this coach. We just got it in. The batteries are kind of weak, so I'll have a new uh, batteries out of the door here. Got power windows here. Some storage bins over here. Backup monitor, couple of fans. More storage bin here. Uh, driver and passenger, both are powered seats. Let's go from here and look at show from, a, from here to back. 
Just take a look at this hardwood floor. We have put protective plastic. These are not glue kind of plastic. It just lays down there. So there's no glue on this, but we kind of like to protect our hardwood floor. These are brand new glue down engineered wood. There is a couple of scratches here. Please look at my pictures because the slide out did it. You know, it had a carpet before and we put a hardwood here. So this is an engineered wood, a uh, nice Euro recliner. You could put a small uh, love sofa if you like, but it, it's got the Euro recliner, Corian type countertops, cabinetries here. Convection oven as well as you got a regular conventional oven three burner gas gas top stove Mirrored sp splash back over here. We got a Korean counter type dining table with the four nice chairs This bed opens up completely out here, so it'll become a full bed. I had an oil change done a few months ago well, it was almost the last year. Uh, I've had this coach for a while. Had a jack system was not working, and it, it was in the shop forever. But we got jacks working. Uh, about thirteen hundred dollars later, it works really nice. Double door refrigerator that runs on LP gas or electric power. Center part of the coach. We have some coat closet here and a lots of paperwork in here in one of the box. If you could see that. It's got a bunch of books and records and invoices and all the owner's manuals are right here in this box. It's a model number 7146. Uh, I guess it's a 34 foot, 35 feet. Over here we have a private toilet and a nice little shower tub right here. I think we'll turn lights on here, but there we go. It's got an electric and LP hot water heater. Back in the bedroom, this is a brand new carpet, a little bit of a storage, and then you got the access for the motor back here. It's a Cummings turbo diesel. I believe it's 275 horsepower. Got an LCD TV back here. Some more lightings, and it's a nice wooden cabinetry. Allegro has made their name lately in the last 10, 15 years as a premier brand now. DVD player. Well, this would uh, conclude our video presentation on this 1999. Allegro bus, approximately 34, 35 feet in a length with a diesel generator. Uh, camp and a road ready. I have RV tech with a 40 plus years experience. You could hire him to do PDI. That stands for pre-delivery inspection. He can go through each and every small aspects of TV antenna to uh, LP level, uh, LP test for any leaks or water leaks. And uh, we'll make sure everything works the time it leaves here. So it'll be ready to go. Uh, give me a call for any questions. I prefer text. My number is 864-404-0054. The number again is 864-404-0054. Thank you and have a great day. Okay.